Hi, boys and girls. I'm going to attempt to make some salt dough here. It's a very easy recipe. It's three ingredients. It's a half a cup of flour. You can double the recipe or triple it, whatever you need to do. It's a quarter cup of salt and a quarter cup of water. So I'm going to dump the salt right here in my bowl and I'm going to mix it all up here like this. In fact, I'm going to use my fingers, but I'm going to grab a spoon and come right back and maybe use the spoon to get this mixed a little bit better here. Now, I'm going to add the water a little at a time. Sometimes you need more water, sometimes you need less. So this is the part that takes a long time. I'll try to do it from this side so you can see it mixing. You can do this right in your kitchen. Um, have someone at home help you with this. And this is a lot of fun. I used to make this when I was a little girl. And I used to make all kinds of things. I used to make little fruit baskets and make little tiny apples and little tiny uh vegetables and things to go in the baskets. You can make ornaments and put a hole in them and hang them on your tree. You can paint these and color them with markers. You can use um, watercolors. You could use um, any kind of paint that you have. You can use Sharpies work really good. And so I've got to get the bottom here. You can see the bottom still looks really dry, and I may need to go get a little more water. The water is variable. You want this to come out like a thick dough. So this is a good measurement. I'm going to start squeezing this together with my hands here. So it's one of those things you can get your hands in. And, you know, if you don't have any clay of your own or any polymer clay, you just make your own clay. You can see a lot of this is still on the bottom, not quite getting in with the water. So I'm kind of scooping it up and pushing it in with the rest of it. And I'm going to go sneak a little bit more water here. Just a drop or two to try to get the rest of this all mixed in here. Trying not to waste any. You don't want to get it too soupy is the thing. So I think I've got just about the right mixed here. Now this is called kneading. Kneading is when you're pressing the dough. And I'm making my dough now. And I want to try and pick up whatever's left here in the bowl and add it. Now if there's more than one of you and you're making lots of things, you're going to want to double the recipe or triple the recipe. But again, this is one half cup of flour, a quarter cup of salt, and a quarter cup of water. Did I say that already? Okay. Flour, salt, and water. All right, so I'm just going to keep kneading this. This feels almost a little bit sticky, like maybe I added a little bit too much. But you're going to let it sit for a little bit. I'm going to go grab a tiny bit more flour. I'm going to put that in the bottom here, and I'm going to roll this in it and work it in. You'll know the right consistency. You'll feel it. You'll know if it's too sticky or too dry. So that's just about right. Now, you can make things with this. Anything you want. A lot of people like to roll it out with a roller. Use cookie cutters. And you can bake anything you make in the oven at between 120 and 200 degrees. And you have to keep checking it. You just bake it till it's hard. Some do a slow bake for an hour or two. Some just keep checking it. Maybe in 30 minutes it'll seem hard, but you bake it till it's hard. All right, so I'm going to just pull a piece off here 
and roll it in a ball. And I'm going to kind of shape it up a little bit here. I'm going to just play around with it, see what I can do, and see if I can make a little animal or something. And you want to have some tools around. You want to have some things that you can uh, poke into it so that you could make, like, eyes and things. So maybe I'll put a little eye there and a little nose and maybe these are the ears and this is nothing fancy but I just wanted you to see how much fun it can be once you've made your dough you can make almost anything so I've got like a little animal here I kind of think it looks like a cat but maybe not I get those ears up a little bit and so there we go but you can make whatever you want I just wanted to make at least one little thing so you can see. And then you can set this on your baking tray and put all the things, make them all together first. I'm going to put a little tail on my cat. Um, put them all together first. And there's my tail. I'm just going to attach it right there. They attach real easy, just like bacon cookies. There's my kitty cat's tail. So I've got a little cat there with a tail. And... Make all your things first, put them all on your baking tray, and put them in the oven, and then you can take them out and paint them. And so have fun. It's just like doing clay in the classroom, except we're using, again, a half a cup of flour, a quarter cup of water, a quarter cup of salt. And you can double the recipe if you need to. Okay? Enjoy. I'd love to see what you make. Have fun.